same way the fertility of a woman should be protected same way the fertility of a woman is being talked about that is the same way the fertility of a man should be protected and the fertility of a woman should be taken into consideration Good day everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Mercy Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today I'm going to be sharing with the men 10 tips, 10 ways to pr pr protect their fertility. 10, that's what I'm going to be sharing with the men today, 10 ways to protect their fertility. But before we go into details in today's class, if you are new on our YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos for all our returning subscribers this is not messy mary this is not messy mary saying thank you let's go there all right welcome back like i earlier said today i'm going to be sharing with the men 10 ways to protect their fertility. 10 ways to protect us to protect their fertility. The first one I have to share with you is don't smoke. Yes, same way smoking affects other organs, smoking affects the liver, smoking the taste, smoking affects the lungs. That is the same way smoking affects affect your sperm production that is the same way smoking also affect your fertility so as a man that wants to get pregnant that is protecting his fertility it's advisable you stay away from smoking tobacco it's advisable you stay away from anything smoke at all uh -huh. stay away from it maybe after you finish giving birth you can continue if you want to but if you know you want to have a child and you want your sperm count to be of good conditions good health and motility it's advisable you stay away from smoking then the second one is stay away or limit your alcohol intake yes alcohol intake you've been hearing about alcohol too much alcohol is bad too much alcohol is bad for your head it's not just bad for your head alone it is also bad for a healthy sperm yes your sperm if you love your sperm so much, you will limit your alcohol intake. If you cherish your sperm so much, you will stop alcohol intake because alcohol has a role to play when it comes to what affecting your fertility. When it comes to fertility, it has a role to play, especially your sperm count. You know, without enough sperm count, without that, that's without enough sperm count, you won't be able to fertilize an egg properly. So we advise you limit or stop the intake of alcohol. Then the third one is stay clear of illicit drugs. Stay clear of illicit drugs. We get a lot of men that are abusing drugs. Not just men, men and women, they are abusing drugs. So today I'm talking about the men. So men that abuse drugs, it's advisable you stay away from those drugs, especially anabolic steroids. These steroids that helps to build muscles so that your muscles can grow bigger, so that your muscles can grow stronger, calm down. Why growing that uh, muscles? Remember that you're going to give birth because these steroids, they are likely going to shrink your testes. They're likely going to affect your testes and that can affect sperm production and that can lead to low sperm count so as a man to protect your fertility you have to stay away from those anabolic steroids you have to stay away from illicit drugs you have to stay away from marijuana you have to stay away from him from all those drugs that you're not supposed to take you understand you know but you are trying to but you just have to then the other one i have to tell talk to you about is always talk to your talk to your doctor about the medications you are taking you don't just go about taking medication so medications may be affecting your fertility without you knowing and also if you are taking medication it's advisable you have an idea of what the side effects of these medications are likely going to be generally doctors and nurses out there they are expected to tell you the side effect of your medication so you know they are going to tell you the pros and cons of your medication so you have idea of what it is when it comes to that then the other point i have to share with you is exercise yes the importance of exercising cannot be overemphasized the importance of staying healthy the importance of eating well cannot be overemphasized when it comes to fertility the importance of not taking in a lot of caffeinated drinks the importance of taking good a clean water cannot be overemphasized when it comes to a man's fertility so if you are a man you are a man a good man a strong man that is planning to give birth to um, children and is trying to protect uh, um, his fertility it's advisable you 
stay healthy you exercise eat nourishing food eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and stay away from caffeinated then the fifth point i have to share with you is maintain a healthy weight yes maintain a healthy weight obesity and overweight is not good when it comes to fertility when it comes to a uh, sperm count when it comes to giving birth to children so it's advisable as a man you maintain a healthy weight that is why i said exercise is good eating vegetables is good and avoid caffeinated food is avoid caffeinated drinks is also good then the sixth point i have to share with you is avoid heat heat yes avoid heat heat hitting that scrotum hitting your testicles for example, the laptop on your laps, for example, sitting for too long, for example, wearing of tight clothing that are likely going to cause heat to your testes and also affect sperm production. Please and please, you have to try as much as possible to avoid heat. Then the seventh point I have to share with you is manage stress. Stress can come from anywhere. It could be emotional stress. It could be physical stress. It could be academic stress. It could be marital stress. Any stress at all. Please and please try as much as possible to manage stress. Because if stress is not managed properly, it might lead to anxiety. It might lead to depression if care is not taken. So I don't want you to get depressed. I don't want you to be anxious about anything. Please and please try and manage your stress effectively. Do what makes you happy. Do what excites you rather than focusing on what is stressing you out. Enjoy yourself. Do what makes you happy. Do what keeps your brain active and happy at the same time so to avoid that unnecessary stress hope you are getting hope you are following okay then also avoid exposure to pesticide if you watched our video on the treatment of low sperm count i said that um on the causes of low sperm count i mean i said that herbicide benzene all those chemicals industrial chemicals can cause low sperm count so avoid exposure to these industrial chemicals avoid exposure to these heavy metals that can help you what reduce sperm count avoid radiation avoid radiation x-rays because these are likely going to cause some um permanent low sperm count that might take years to even recover so you just have to be extremely careful when it comes to radiation when it comes to x-ray then the last point i have to share with you which is the number 10 is try as much as possible to stay positive yes be a positive thinker and not a negative thinker be a positive minded man and not a negative minded man always stay on the positive lane and not the negative lane yes being positive will help you a lot it helps you feel better it makes you happy so being negative will make you depressed will make you anxious will make you have anxiety will make you stress out so try as much as possible to stay positive if you are trying to have children you are trying to have kids don't allow them these whole thoughts stress you out just stay positive that these kids are going to come just stay positive that these children are going to come so stop killing your thoughts with negativity stop feeling your mindset with negativity because that is going to affect you in the long run so these are the 10 points I have to share with the men on how to protect their fertility. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nosmesmeri saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.